dealing with these game calls here. Today I just wanted to go over a few calls that you might want to add to your vest this coming spring. Here in North Carolina, we ain't but about a month away from our opener. Um, I get a lot of questions asked, especially at shows on how to condition calls, and I'm gonna go over that as well, what I prefer to do. So um, to get started with, I'm going to run our purple slate. It's in a bloodwood pot. Uh, this call was very popular when it came out last year. Um, I'm gonna be running it with one of Austin Hanks's one piece diamond wood striker. Uh, and here it goes. A lot of people ask me how I condition a slate call. I just like to use a piece of uh, Scotch-Brite and I'm just gonna go back and forth my call left or right, just enough to get rid of where I just called at. <sighs> Blow off the excess dust and if anything, you may wanna clean up the end of the striker where it has a little built up. Next I'm gonna run new for this year is our Hanky Panky. Uh, beautiful call, beautiful logo that was designed for us. Um, so this is a glass over slate call and this is what it sounds like. And with a glass service like this, same scenario, just with sandpaper. I usually do 120 or 220. Again, just back and forth, left to right. Only where I condition the call at. And then I'm gonna run, last but not least, our call that has been highly, highly uh, popular this year is our double-sided call. This is a glass call. Uh, with a slate soundboard in the back. Uh, we sold out of these last weekend at the Dixie Deer Classic. got the little slate surface on the back. <clears throat> the Bloodwood and Double Cider are back on the website and are available. Check us out at hanksgamecalls.com or if you need to get in touch with one of us personally. Uh, again, thank you for all the support and good luck to everybody this year. Take care.